oh, it's a three-year contract. We knew that already. And it's going to be for $26 million at least. It could be up to $42 million, according to AC. So Martinez is going to get $10 million in 2023. He can opt out after this season. If he opts out, then the Padres can trigger their opt or their club option, which is $16 million for 2024, $16 million for 2025. So let's say Martinez opts out. He gets the $10 million this year, opts out. Padres can then make him come back to the Padres for $16 million. That would probably happen if Martinez had a great year as a starting pitcher, stayed healthy, and he deserves that pay raise, right? So they would give him $16 million to come back, you would think. Or he opts out and he goes to free agency. They can then, if he stays with the Padres, they could give him that 2025 club option as well if he continues to pitch well in 2024 for $16 million a year. Um, if Martinez... Let's say he doesn't have a good 2023. Obviously, we hope that he has a good 2023. But let's say he doesn't really prove himself as a starting pitcher. Then he can just opt in. He has the option, remember. He has the opt out. So he can not opt out but and choose to opt in after 2023 and opt into 2024. If that happens, then the Padres would pay him $8 million guaranteed for 2024. And 2025. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, it, it was confusing the way Kevin Acey wrote it. I'm not even going to talk about how he wrote it because it was just confusing to me. But simple terms here. Martinez, $10 million this year. He has an opt-out. If he doesn't opt-out, he opts in. $8 million for the two years after this year. If he does opt-out, the Padres can give him $16 million for 2024 and 2025. If that was the case, he would get $42 million in total. Uh, And that's without the financial incentives, which are also in the contract. So is this a Padres friendly deal? I think it is because it's 10 million this year. I I predicted $10 million a year for the Nick Martinez contract. So that's good um, for the Padres. That's not a lot. And Then, if he has a good year and he opts out of the $8 million for 2024, then the Padres can say, no, we have the control this time. You're staying here. We're going to make you sign the $16 million, or not sign, but we'll give you the $16 million club option. So they have the control here, which I think is a big positive for the Padres. As someone who saw how impactful Nick Martinez was to this Padres team last year in the postseason, in the regular season, doing whatever the Padres asked of him, I hope I wished that there wasn't going to be an opt out, but I understand why there is one. If Martinez feels like he'll get more um, than, or he deserves more than the $8 million he would get in 2024, he can opt out and get more from the Padres. Uh, with that club option. Or if the Padres don't want to give him that 16 mil, he can go get more than $8 million on the free agent market. So I understand why it's there. And he still wanted to have some options with that if he proves himself for 2023. Um, For, you know, for Nick Martinez, it is, I think, a Nick Martinez friendly deal as well. Like he's not getting 20 mil in a year or anything like that. But he gets 10 this year. That's a pay raise compared to last year, which was, or what it would have been for this year, which was six and a half million. And then if he proves himself this year, he automatically will get $16 million at least. You would think if the Padres give him the club option. If the Padres don't give him the club option and he performs well, then he can opt out and go get more than $8 million. So it feels like a win win for Nick. After 2023, he's going to get either $8 million if he opts in and has like a terrible year. He'd still get $8 million for the next two years or each year. Or he can opt out. Padres don't want him back, let's say. He can still go get more than that in free agency. 